This switch has been in A for a long time. So it's in steady state. It is in DC steady state. At equals zero, the switch moves to B. Find the current in this resistor as a function of time for t greater than zero. We have seen in a previous tutorial that this family of exercises imposes on us the solution of three circuits. Snapshot at t equals zero minus. Snapshot at t equals zero plus. Solution of the circuit in the p operator domain for t greater than zero. However, in cases like this one, where we are asked not the current in an inductor or the voltage in the capacitor, but a current or a voltage elsewhere, there is a fourth circuit that we need to solve, and we'll see which one later. This is a snapshot of the circuit for T right before zero, at zero minus. The switch is connected on A, so the source is present. It's in DC steady state, so the capacitor is represented by an open circuit and the inductor as a short circuit, as you see here. The voltage in the capacitor is this voltage here. This will be VC0 that we will try to find, and the current in the inductor will be this one, IL0, that we will also try to find. Just a comment. When you assume that the voltage in the capacitor is like this, you are assuming at the same time that the positive direction for the current in the capacitor is like this. When you assume that the voltage in the inductor is like this, you are assuming also that the positive assumed direction for the current in the inductor is like that. So you choose one of them arbitrarily, but that imposes on you the second one. In our case, I will assume that the positive direction for current in the inductor is like this, which imposes on us this as the positive polarity for the voltage in the inductor. From this circuit, immediately, we find with the voltage divider that VC0 is 8 volts, and the current in the inductor is simply 20 divided by 10, 2 amps. And we have the very first part of the exercise.